That's something I never want to see ever again. What, naked picture of B. Arthur? No, I want to see that all the time, <laughs> sir. <laughs> it was a... Uh, Let's go. It was a shot glass made out of uh, spam. What? They took a the brick of spam. And they made a... Sh- Ew, it, and they yeah. took a shot out of it? Yeah. Ew, is right. I'm going to say... Two words, no and thank you. <laughs> I'm going to say two <laughs> words, fuck and no. Yeah. Jesus. Let's try this again. <laughs> Check the mic and make sure it sound right, boy. Oh, yeah. Welcome back to the Gentleman's Den. Welcome us back. We had to take a break. <laughs> Full disclosure. <laughs> Yeah. This is uh, once again second recording going on because <laughs> middle, not even the middle, the first five minutes of the last one we started, uh, it was <laughs> the water softener decided to kick on and there was a whistle. A serious whistle. It was a serious whistle going on. I can handle a whistle. But that was that was excessive. It was a whistle. That was excessive. <laughs> Trying to dog plug his brain for a bit. Bro, it, when you're wearing the headphones, everything is kind of magnified. Mm-hmm. So when that kicked on, it was over. It was like overpowering our voices. Like all I could hear was the whistle. <laughs> <laughs> so here we are. So we're back. Hey, all right. Old school. Yeah, the two boys. The gentlemen in the den. The ca- the chains are off. Yeah. The, the estrogen has left us to play. Kill it a bed. Yeah, Jeff had her in the yard working all day. Yeah, she's got uh, two uh, calloused hands. Yes, <laughs> and, and 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 her back isn't. Uh, get that out of frame. We're not sponsored by them yet. What is that? <laughs> a happy dad. A happy dad. Shout out to Steve. We'll do it. Go follow him on uh, uh, X. I don't like the happy dad. I tried. Multiple times. There's just, there's not enough flavor. I like the bubbles. Mm-hmm. I do like the bubbles. But then there's no flavor to follow. Yeah. It's just like. If you put a squirt of Mio in it, I, I mean. What's that water with the bubbles in it? Perrier or. Perrier has the water. LaCroix has the <laughs> bubbles. That's, it tastes like a water with bubbles. I like it because I don't get as bloated as I do when I drink 12 Miller Lights. Yeah. Well, that's why I stopped drinking beer because I would just. I felt like I just had a... And yes, I sound like a... Thick dinner. I sound like a woman. (laughs) I get so bloated when I drink these beers. It's just... (laughs) Well, you're getting old. You know what you like, right? I mean, the older I get, the more I'm like, I don't give a fuck what anyone thinks. This is what I drink. It's it's weird. I don't make the face when I take shots of whiskey. Like, there used to be the whiskey face where you take it and you're like... Did we talk about this? I, I, I had this conversation with Kayla. I want to be the whiskey guy. Yeah, we did talk about this. I, I do so bad. Just, I just I want to be the oh my look at that man right there drinking whiskey. I just can't do it. And like I like I said, it's like I didn't like coffee. I like coffee now because I drank cup after cup after cup of black coffee. So you did like a kickboxer training montage it of was coffee. Just, it, it was <laughs> <laughs> to. Pump that shit into my veins. Let's go. I want to be that guy so bad. I don't know. I just, I, you just look cool drinking a thing of whiskey. What you got to do, Jeff, is uh, just keep drinking until you get used to it. It's you get used to the flavor, so everything your your brain's like, oh, this is okay. When you yeah. fir- when you first drink, it's like, oh, this is poison. <laughs> it's, it's, well, know. I'll drink like a whole bottle of vodka, but that's like not cool. Yeah, and they're like. Yeah. Well, we're over here drinking whiskey. Well, you know, vodka is uh, it's for the ladies. Is it? Vodka is the ladies. I mean, like UV yeah. blue is for the oh. ladies. Just straight. Do you remember all the obscure liquors? UVs, UV cake. Oh. <laughs> there was so, so many. many shots. Right. Pineapple upside down cake shots, which was. Pineapple juice and the UV cake. Yeah, there was so many. Just so many. Yuck. <laughs> just, what was your favorite obscure 
shot, you think? I always like the dead Hitlers. <laughs> what was that? Jaeger, I mean, I like a dead Hitler, too. Ja- Jägermeister and Rumpelmans. Oh, really? That was it? Yeah. So it's uh, almost a liquid cocaine. Yeah, it's not Goldschlager. Just add the Goldschlager to it. You know what? Actually, you know what? Baby Guinnesses. Baby Guinnesses were uh, that Cafe Patron, which I don't think they make anymore. It's Bay, back. It, I just did, saw did it they is make back. It? Yeah. it is back. So uh, what was it? Jimmy Fallon? Mm-hmm. I don't know. He was talking about it, and it, they announced it on April Fool's, and they're yeah. like, this isn't an April Fool's joke. So uh, Cafe Patron's back? XO, right? Is yep. that what it was? Yeah, yeah, it's back, baby. You know, we're those drinking. coffee shots were fucking clutch. They, they were they were good, and so what was that the XO and, and Bailey's then, and rum chata, or no, yeah, and rum chata. Well, that's we switched the Bailey's out for rum chata. We started doing that. No, it was all three. Was it all three? Yeah. It was oh all yeah, three. it was all three. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Ooh. All right. Well, yeah, well guess what we're back. doing all summer? <laughs> hey, 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 hey. You were on that Pink Whitney for a while. I like the Pink Whitney. I'm a, what was I'm a it? So that it's, was... it's Pink Lemonade Vodka. So it's already a Pink Lemonade Vodka. Who's yes. That? My daughter? Your daughter. Oh, she's here. What time is it? What's up, daughter? Will you open this for me? Uncle Sean's got <laughs> Come on. They cross-threaded it. <laughs> Jeff. Oh, Jesus. My hands are a little greasy. There it is. Sean loosened it for me. <laughs> I did not. My grip isn't great right now. My hands are so dry and callous yeah. from the yard work. I just ripped it right open. <laughs> so, pink, yeah, Pink Whitney. Uh, shout out to the uh, Spinning Chicklets boys. They've made millions on that stuff. So it was pink. It's pink lemonade, lemonade vodka. Lemonade vodka. And then yeah. you would mix it with, with lemonade. Le- yeah, it was just gut rot all summer. <laughs> that was rough. I like, was surprised you were into that because that's gut rod central and that's not for your some, jam. For some reason, it, it didn't bother me as much. Like, yeah. I mean, like by the fucking fifth one, I was like, yeah, okay, I need to, a, yeah, I need a sure. beer. That also might have been the <laughs> 45 pounds of sugar I was intaking with it. <laughs> I think it might have been. Okay, so I've been holding this story because the universe, the universe did something to me today that uh, I just laughed. So I go to our local Dollar Tree. Yes. Because the Dollar Tree has Yoohoo in the glass bottles. Ooh, the best. That's the only way to drink Yoohoo. I don't do not give your kids a boxed Yoohoo. I, I that feels like it's uh abuse to me. Yeah. Because you're not getting the right flavor. They need the Yoohoo, yeah. You need it in the glass like bottle. Like it was intended. Yes. Where you can see all the shit in the bottom, so you got to shake it up and get it. So I'm going back to the house, pull my keys out, got the bag in my hand. So in my bag, I have two things of cranberry juice and the uh, Yoohoo's. I go to turn to open the door, and the bag slips off my finger, and all four bottles in the bag hit the ground, shatter. No. I look, at the, I look up, I just go, all right. <laughs> I guess you're telling me to eat, to keep my eating better, <laughs> so don't drink the yuhus. I'm guessing that's why they don't have them in glass, in glass anymore. I just think it's uh, cost effective to not be in. Yeah, the but glass I thought bottles. we were like saving the environment. Wouldn't isn't that better than plastic? Well, they ha- they're either. In I, the, used, I remember when Gatorade was in glass bottles. Glass bottles. That was the best. Bring back the glass bottle Gatorades, please. Yeah, let's go here. Bring back the glass. Cokes bottle. are like impossible to find. Yeah. Out of a glass bottle. But that's the only way to drink a Coke. Unless you go to a Mexican grocery store and then you can get the good old Mexican Cokes. That's the real sugar. All the Mexican drinks, right? Yeah. What's the, what are those? The fruity ones, the uh, tall ones. God. Jaritos. Really yes. All right. I think that's how it's pronounced. I don't know, man. I'm white. <laughs> <laughs> if you can't no. tell, if you can't tell, all of this is Caucasian from the Caucasian. mountains of Caucasus. Caucasus. <laughs> Caucasus. That baby right there has got an 800 credit score, score right, right now. now. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out, Cat Williams. Shout out. The internet on fire. But, yeah, I, uh, so my uh, 
five dollars worth of yoohoo <laughs> ended up in my and i'm like just All right. down on the concrete i'm like i could go back and spend another five dollars you'll get four more bottles of yoohoo but yeah fuck it i'm good I'm not gonna get it the universe the universe told me hey you didn't buy any bullshit this week spoke to you i bought ice cream because it's hot and ice cream's delicious <laughs> it's on a hot, hot baby it's hot we're we're over we're over fucking 40 degrees it's hot <laughs> hot <laughs> so yeah that was my universe saying hey oh, man funny. so we we went out uh we went out last night and our friend no matter the weather he's in flip flops yeah i I'm, i've i'm surprised he has all of his toes <laughs> dead winter he always has flip-flops on and we walk into the bar and some guys outside in a sweater like having a cigarette freeze and he's like oh spring is sprung first fair flip-flops i've seen all year okay. enjoy your smoke bro yeah also why are you looking at dude's feet <laughs> this guy's been wearing flip-flops uh, since 92. He might have the best feet out of all of us, though, if you think about it, because he's not wearing shoes. He's just kind of barefoot at all time. You think? Yeah. I don't know. That's the. I don't think that's how it goes. It's naturally. You're, really? You're natural. I saw that guy on, uh, what was that, Survivor Man? What was that show? The guy. There, Survivor Man and Bear, or was it Bear? Maybe it was Naked and Afraid. I don't know. <laughs> that show. <laughs> that, the guy never wore shoes, and his uh, feet were mongled. They're minging ass feet, oh, dude. Minging. I don't even know what to call those feet. Gross. All feet. <laughs> you could call them all gross. Really? I'm not a feet guy at all. <laughs> yeah, I've never seen a foot and been like, damn, that's a hot foot. I'm Damn put girl, that foot in my mouth. Damn girl, you got good looking feet. No, I'm not a feet guy. At yeah, all. no, I don't know. Fetishes are weird. That's why they're fetishes. That's why right? they're fetishes. You know what I mean, <laughs> is what it is. Like the guy that used to blow up balloons, and then when they pop, he'd like <laughs> come in his pants. <laughs> There's so much childhood trauma mixed into that. Yeah, I think we talked about this. Yeah, like the freaks are did. running the internet. Like that's what yeah. it's made for. I feel like the internet was just made for freaks. Oh, for sure. Because there'd be some dude just sitting in his basement, blowing up balloons, coming in his pants, and now he has a, he found a group. There's a bunch of people like like coming in their pants, to <laughs> blowing up balloons. And speaking of, you sent the picture of the piss pants. <laughs> no, that's just. I don't understand. I don't this. understand fashion. Like, who's gonna pay a thousand dollars for a pair of jeans that are piss stained? <laughs> I'm but like someone will. That's the I, thing. You can make them yourself. Go to Walmart, buy a pair of twenty dollars Wranglers, piss, piss yourself <laughs> multiple times, and let them dry. Yeah, but you know who's gonna put in that work? Are you every drunk that I know has every a pair wino? of wino piss stained pants? <laughs> <laughs> There's a hundred fucking drunks in this town that have piss stained pants because they have. Passed out and pissed themselves. I don't understand. I, I really don't understand, like, high-end fashion. Like, I've seen the catwalks, and I just... I Who in the I right mind what is going to wear that? that shit? I don't know. <laughs> like, what are they doing? Like, in, in your the day, dude's got a whole living room. Yeah, in your <laughs> daily life, shoulders. you wake up, you get out of bed, you're like, oh, time to get dressed. Here, let me put my fucking nightstand on my head and go out to fucking work. I don't get it. Uh, maybe it's just because I'm a Midwest white dude. But do those actually like come to market? No, man, they can't. So why? There's so no all that time and all that effort just to put on a fashion show, but for what? I'm confused. <sighs> yeah, for just for the sake of fashion. Just for the I'm sake so of confused. fashion. I mean, maybe, like none of that's. Yeah. No one's gonna wear that shit, right? No. There, I mean, someone will. But not like the big shit. No. Like the shoulder pads and the There's some wild I mean, fashion's fashion. Let's let's just be honest. It's speaking of fashion, we have a quarterback in the uh now on our team let's that's go. That is He's, fashion forward. I don't give a fuck if he wears uh fingernail paint. I don't give a fuck if he don't sucks care. dick. Don't care. If, does he, he throw wins football games? Does he win football games? Does he throw that pigskin? Fire that pigskin! 
I'm the in. Bears are back. Let's go. The Bears are fucking back. My gut feeling is we'll have our first 4,000-yard quarterback this year. Ooh, first year you're calling this it? This year. Yeah, he, but don't they get an extra game too? Yeah. Okay. And he's got DJ Moore, Keenan Allen. Ooh, keep talking. Cole Komet. <laughs> Gerald Everett. I'm and, excited. And Bears. number nine pick, Rome Adunze. Look, not everyone who listens to this is a Bears fan, but like, let's just let us have our let us like, have our moment, all, the sun. All you Packer fans, yeah, great. Jordan Love and all that shit. Shut up! It's our time. Let us have our time. For the love <laughs> of God, forty-five years old, and I haven't seen a guy throw for over three thousand, thirty-five hundred yards in a Bear uniform. No. The cl- the long the most yards is what thirty-two hundred, and that was Eric Kramer. Jake Gell- I think Jake Geller has it. No, Eric Kramer has. Really? Eric Kramer has the most yards. Shout in out the- to you, Eric Kramer. Yeah, he played two years with us, and then. Now he's up in the booth. He is. Good for Eric Kramer. Shout out to you, sir. The Bears made the best of what they had. Ryan Poles is... He pants the league. He pants the Panthers. So, in the the early 90s, there was the Great Train Robbery, Mm -hmm. which was the Dallas Cowboys traded Herschel Walker to Minnesota for a grip of picks that turned into Troy Aikman, Emmett Smith, uh, Michael Irvin, and a Ronnie Lott, all or, or not Ronnie Lott, uh, who was uh, God, who was their big ass lineman? Oh, Eric Williams and uh, no. Leon or not Leon Leon Lett. Leon, Leon Lett, right? No, Leon Lett was a defensive oh. tackle. Uh, Nate Newton. Nate Newton. There, there. It turned into what the Dallas Cowboys were in the '90s, which was what a dynasty. Yeah, four Super Bowls or something. Dynasty three, three. Yeah. So they're still holding on to that. Of course they are. So are the '72 <laughs> Dolphins. Oh, we were undefeated. Yeah, you won 17 games. That's a regular season now. Yeah. I'm gonna tell you right now. Put the '72 Dolphins, that team versus any team in the NFL right now. And those guys would get murdered because in 1972, your offensive line at the most was 250 pounds. (laughs) Those guys would all be dead. (laughs) Aaron Donald alone would destroy that offensive line. Yeah. Yeah. All over the place. Yeah. The draft, uh, draft was interesting. It was for the first time, like, don't get me wrong. When we got fields, I was excited. We were all pumped. We're like, yes, a quarterback. Finally. Yay. And then we, it, it, coaching was horrible, and there wasn't like, he didn't have any targets. Let's be honest, he really didn't until DJ Moore got there. But yeah, he's a great running back. I I still think I think I think Justin Fields is going will by week four be the starting quarterback in Pittsburgh and give us that fourth round pick instead of a sixth round pick. What I thought they were like riding out there. Steelers country, let's ride. No, it's Steelers country, let's steal. I don't know. (laughs) But as a Bear fan, the hope we, like, all we used to, we used to love watching our defense play because we always knew there's going to be something big is going to happen. There's going to be a turnover. There's going to be massive hits. No one's going to, and then the offense comes on the field and you're just like, fuck, here we go, Rex Grossman. (laughs) Oh, Jesus. Here we go, Kyle Orton. Now we have a legit offense. Like, yeah. Staggeringly good offense. Never fucking thought I'd see that. I didn't think we'd have two number one wide receivers ever. Oh, come on now. The only time I had this much hope in a team was Cutler, Brandon Marshall, Alshon Jeffrey, Martellus Bennett, Matt and Matt Forte. Forte. That is the last time I, I... Yeah, I was excited, and then I wet the bed. And it's just injuries. And- I don't get excited anymore for football. I really don't. I uh, like, it's, like I said before, 
I used to avoid doing stuff with the family. They're like, hey, we're going out. I'm like, the bears are on. I got to watch the bears. And then I just watch them get their ass kicked. Just, and I'm like, I'm not doing this anymore. I'm not. I'm Whatever they're doing, I'm going to go do it. Every family wants to do shit. Let's go. I'm not going to. But this year? I might tell them to go fuck themselves. <laughs> the, 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 this year might be a. Ah, the bears are on. Okay. Until one time they fuck me. And, yeah. then I'm, and then I'm back. It's family time. Until they lose to the Packers again, and then it's just. Yeah. Back to the back, same old shit. Back to crying in the ah, basement. God damn it. So, yeah. I am excited for the Bears. I know. I saw your nipples earlier. Jesus Christ. <sighs> had to change my pants three times. You had this piss pants. Just, no, was that, was, that was all jizz. <laughs> That's what you can sell. Did you sell them? <sighs> oh, I washed them. Come on now. How dare you? You could have put those on. Bro, I'm uh, broke, homie. I got to keep my (laughs) sheets. I don't get rid of shit. Yeah, but you could sell them. I could. Why not have, like, I feel like you found your niche. No. (laughs) I'm good. Speaking of of a niche, go to this guy's Instagram and check out the shoes he just put out. Yeah, Wu-Tang is for the children. (sighs) Holla. Diverse of value bonds. (laughs) 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 <laughs> <laughs> yeah the the uh, what are the shoe tang shoe, shoe tangs, tangs yeah dude they they came out awesome i'm thanks bro appreciate it i was lucky enough to come down one day to drop off two pairs of shoes that he's gonna do for me eventually <laughs> <laughs> because i'm one of those guys would be like oh, let me get it in before you uh start charging every motherfucker because <laughs> once again i'm broke now nah, you got car blanche bro no but yeah i am like the and the feedback we're getting on that you're getting online on them is like everybody's like oh snap I know shit who I knew Jeff was an artist day I know turns forty and becomes Picasso of yeah, the right. of the shoes yeah well I always love sneakers I always love fucking custom shoes so it's like fuck it why not let's just try it see what happens I think it really uh, when you did this whole setup i think that really kind of sparked. yeah well i bought the airbrush gun to do the studio and all that shit and turned out i think that decent. sparked the so yeah i was like fuck it let's see where this goes sparked the want to do well, it. yeah well you got i mean especially when you get older it's like why not i'm sure you know people who listen are passionate about something like just fucking do it try it why not like you might fail that's yeah. okay it's like I tell my kids, I'm like, I'd rather you try and fail. Like, it's okay to fail. Like, everybody's so scared to not succeed. And it's like, it's okay to fucking. You know what fail is, right? First attempt in learning. Yeah. I mean, for real. But it's it's so hard. Like, the kids, they just don't. It's, they don't understand that. Like, it, it's their the, life is over. Oh, my God. Like, no, I can't. It's like, just fucking do it. You'll never regret it. You know, right? Hey, we do this every week. And I don't regret this. And At it's all. fun. Like, whatever. It, uh, and yes, we have negative comments. But we got a lot more positive than we got negative. The negative ones are always funny to me, though. Yeah. We are far from boring. <laughs> fuck you, guy. Was boring. Boring <laughs> podcast he's ever listened to. <laughs> yeah, fuck you. <laughs> I've listened to plenty of podcasts that suck compared to ours. Yeah, this is fine. Hey, it's not for everybody. Like I even said, it's, yeah. it's not for everybody. We're, we're, I've listened to we're, shit. I'm like, I don't like the, this, but it's got five million likes, so someone's liking it. We're the. Uh, I'm sure someone didn't like those shoes I made. Yeah, like those it, shoes, and that's just because they don't like Wu Tang. Uh, but we're we're the Floyd Mayweather of podcasts because we can't read. <laughs> is that what it is? <laughs> I'm a horrible reader. <laughs> Shout out Casey Rocket. I stole your joke. I'm sorry, buddy. That was <laughs> that's one of my that was one of the funniest jokes I've heard in a long can't time. Read. Because I'm the Floyd Mayweather of comedy. That is a wild fly. dude. If you haven't seen any of Casey Rocket, he is uh, a regular on Kill Tony. Yeah. And he is just uh, I I can't even put into words what he is. He's just a uh, He is a prop comic tornado of hilarity. Yes, go check out Casey Rocket. It just you won't be disappointed. And, and it's not like 
when you're talking like Mark Norman or like Shane Gillis or any jokes, like it's quips, funny one liners. Yeah. And, and he pulls out like pictures of Terry Bradshaw for some reason. <laughs> my, one of my favorites was the picture of Grimace at the fall of Berlin. <laughs> like, they, what did uh, Tony say? They got him a like card to Walgreens for unlimited prints. Yeah. Because <laughs> he makes so many of them. his dad for money. Yeah. Like the, uh, he has the one joke, the Dutchman's key where he puts a lead key in his mouth and he does the whole bit. And he's all of a sudden he just goes, the Dutchman's key. <laughs> like, I didn't see that one. Yeah. It's, he's a wild dude. It, no fuss when you're on the tusk. Dude. He's a, just a wild dude. It's, and if you don't watch Kill Tony, you're... Is he like that, though, like off stage, or no? I don't know. I've never seen him. I, I mean, I've seen him on podcasts, and he's normal. He's a normal dude. Like okay. He, I didn't know if that was like, he's like always like that. No, no, he's not like super... No, he's not like super jittery or anything. He's he's pretty mellow, dude. It's just, so when he gets on stage, he's kind of... <laughs> that's, you know, er, everybody's got a gimmick. You know, everybody, it's... it's yeah, pro, right. every, Everything's pro wrestling to me. Everybody's got a gimmick. <clears throat> Shout out to Tony Khan. Tony Khan, who's that? Tony Khan is the owner of AEW Wrestling, and he is also the son of Shad Khan, oh, who is that owns Nick guy? who owns the Jacksonville Jaguars. <laughs> and Tony Khan on Wednesday took. Is he a, like just a billionaire son that's just off the chain, off the rails? He, no, he's 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 actually like super smart. Like went to University of Illinois. Like smart enough to get. Sledgehammered, no, he, he piled Dutch driver. By by, by, yeah, he didn't get Dutch <laughs> oven. I don't know. Maybe, maybe his maybe his things a Dutch oven. Who knows? No, he took a move. What is known as the Meltzer driver, named the after Meltzer driver, which is a move named after Dave Meltzer, who is a right a pro wrestling writer who's been a, who's done pro wrestling writing for hundreds of years. It writing. feels like. What do you mean writing? Like he like does the reviews of the matches you know, like he'll give it like a five star review. Okay. So what the move is, is it's a tag team move guy. Get, oh yeah. Guy Tell gets picked more. up in a tombstone pile driver position. If you've ever seen the undertaker's finishing move, you know what a tombstone is. It's the guys facing your crotch. Hold on. Let me close my eyes. It's a standing 69. It's a standing 69. So basically gay. it is. It. Okay. Everything. Every, everyone close your eyes. Okay, go ahead. What do they do? So they're in a standing 69. Oh, yeah. And the tag team partner goes to the top rope. Oh, I bet he does. Does a, top, does a front flip uh -huh. and pushes down <laughs> to yeah, add right. force to the pile driver. <laughs> it's a great, it, it looks awesome. Obviously, everybody's protected. Every, you know, no one's breaking their neck. If you did it in the street, you'd kill somebody. You'd, put their head through their asshole. But so he's at the draft wearing a neck brace. If you watch the spot, his so he's head just selling it, right? He's oh, not yeah. really in a neck brace. No, he's no, he's not. He doesn't Do you need think he's safe. Oh, you he, said it's safe. He's a hundred percent fine. Now, did he come or the other guys came <laughs> or did they all, they come? came together. <laughs> Okay, I just wanted to make sure. It's, see, I love when you make fun of the wrestling, but you'll watch it with me and be like, oh, shit, and fucking get into it. Do you so. think they sold their pants afterwards? No, for definitely For $500? Not. It's definitely not. <laughs> definitely not. Everything just goes back to the piss pants, I'm telling you. I feel like this is that might be the name of this podcast. Piss pants? Piss pants. <laughs> it, you can't be piss pants because, you know, YouTube won't let us put what piss do you mean? in the title. Put Z's, Piz. Piz, or just P star SS. Piz pants. Or just P blah, 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 pants. So How the draft. 69 pile driver. <laughs> <laughs> you think they'll let us put that on there? I mean, that sounds like a good Friday night. I'm not going to lie to you. Yeah, I'm in for that. All right. All right, so we gotta get out of here. We're gonna go do a 69 pile driver now. <laughs>
Uh, we're not. We're not gay. Jeff's married. We didn't even pick cards. We don't need that shit. We do, but we don't. We can make our own questions. Really? Yes. Off the top? Off the top of the dome. Let's go old school. All right, we can. How was your week, by, by the way? Um, not bad. Full disclosure, a lot of yard work. I think we already kind of touched on that. That's why Kayla's not at time right now. Um, so, yeah. Yard work, yard work, yard work. Huh? It's that season. I saw a bunch of dudes being walked around Home Depot by their wives. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> and I was like, yep, there they go. The depression that sets in watching the wives drag the dudes around to get ornamental things for the That yard. is 100% what was going on today because they have visions. And we have to fulfill those visions as husbands. It's time. And, and you can't just do like one thing and then slowly grow from there. It's like, no, we're going to do it all today this weekend it's gonna this is what they say it's gonna be nice <laughs> this weekend it's gonna be nice it's gonna be nice so yeah so we went this to the that's all it was we went to the home depot and there's a bunch of husbands being walked around through there and they're just grabbing shit off the shelf uh, it's funny because i was at the grocery store today the first time not the second time not when I saw it. And all I heard every time I'd walk through an aisle was a couple talking about mulch. Will you just go and get the 25 pound bags of mulch? Well, uh, we can wait and get this other mulch. No, no, no. This is the mulch I want, so we got to go get this mulch. But it's going to be nice this weekend. Yeah. So. Like, he's like, yeah, I, I understand it's going to be nice, but we, I, I have other stuff to do. We can't, you know, I got other stuff to do in the yard, but we can't just get, can we just get the mulch? Please, can we get the mulch? Yeah, we just... Uh, I almost wanted to walk in the aisle and just be like, dude, get the fucking mulch for her, man. I wish she was here to defend herself, but she's not, so fuck it. And, uh, yeah, she bit off a lot more than she could chew. You know... And now she's sore and tired, and she's got calluses on her Manual hands. labor. <laughs> Jeez, manual labor looks fun until you pick up the rake. It was a long day. But the video of the dogs going after the hose. And you have a yard, you know. The video of the dogs going after the hose was pretty damn funny. Yeah, my dogs. They're special boys. They were trying to bite the hose water the entire time. We literally had to put them inside because they were trying to bite rakes, hose water. <laughs> they were partying. <laughs> they were fucking ready to go. Fuck, man. We're f They're sleeping, too. <laughs> they had a fucking... That's how rough this fucking yard project was the dogs are sleeping yeah it was, so it was a good day it was a great day oh, i was so be it was beautiful out we got too. the boys out there yeah the which was which grease. was surprising they didn't explode in the sun i know <laughs> fucking <laughs> vampires <laughs> <sighs> i love those boys but man jesus <laughs> <laughs> get a tan come what, on now what game was he playing Power wash simulator where he was power washing. Yeah, a van. I walked in his bedroom and he's fucking power washing a van on 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 the video. I said I got a power washer outside. You <laughs> can power wash the cars. No, that's gay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking about these fucking this video game right now, Dad. I'm getting achievements by power right, washing. I just unlocked. I got a uh, gold trophy for getting the chrome off this fucking trailer hitch. <laughs> said, oh, Jesus. <laughs> what game are you playing now, boy? <laughs> I didn't know Truck Stop Hooker was a game. <laughs> Truck Stop Hooker. It probably is. I mean. Do you think there's a Truck Stop I mean, Hooker simulator? Honest, honestly, I, I would like to meet a game developer well, let's get that one in you gotta go to each trucker right see how much how many you could finish off before uh high noon and then uh oh herpes oh, <laughs> it's like the orcot trail yeah <laughs> died of dysentery <laughs> uh died of syphilis all right yeah i'm in you gotta cross a moat or a river with your yaks <laughs> or the oxes the oxes the right? oxen yes yeah and then you had to hunt 
That was the best part of that game. Hunting? The hunting was the oh, best yeah. part of the game. So you got to go into the gas station for a couple beef jerkies. <laughs> you get plenty of beef jerky in the parking lot. Yeah, but you want a full bar of protein. You're going to be sucking dick all day. She's getting their protein shake every time she gets it to the I know, bed. but you need more. You need all, like a brick of protein. You, you need, <laughs> Not you, you need the protein. carbs. Is you need the carbs is? to to keep you going. The All fuel. Right. Well, microwave rice then. <laughs> Bag of Fritos. <laughs> Microwaved rice. <laughs> just sounds bad. <laughs> I mean, don't get wrong. Those steam fresh bags are very nice and easy. But I would rather have the on the stove <laughs> rice. <laughs> is that, is that? Fluff it up a little bit. <laughs> just. Just a little fluffy, like a little more fluff to a your rice. More fluff to my rice. Yeah. I had enough water. I'm, I have microwave rice all the time. <laughs> hey, it's I'm pretty much a staple in this house. Well, you're not exactly a um, how to say a uh, culinary master. How dare you! I cook all the meals around here. It's not hard to put cheese in a tortilla Wait, shell. Right. <laughs> <laughs> a lot. It's not hard to put tea, cheese in a tortilla shell and put it in a toaster. <laughs> it's not hard to buy a deli pizza and throw it in the oven, bud. It's How did like, you like that in quesadilla? The quesadilla, it, yeah, it's a when toaster you're, quesadilla. When, when you're when you're shimmed up, that toaster quesadilla is pretty clutch in the fucking. Oh my god, we were so fucking hammered <sighs> the other night. That, that podcast would have been top notch. That but. podcast would have been uh, one for the books, but Dad wouldn't come on. Dad wouldn't come on. Kayla went to sleep again. I understand why Kayla went. To, she was her back was bothering her, and yeah, manual labor. Yeah, carrying this family. Back <laughs> she had, I mean, let's be honest. If you guys want custom shoes, you gotta pay for them, bitches. Yeah, come on now, let's go. Help the boy out. At least someone help us out. No, yeah, I got rice cooking in the microwave. Um, uh, actually, I and I'm doing all right. You make that your chicken is very close to Chipotle's chicken. It's top notch chicken. It's very good. I love Chipotle. So no, I but learn the recipe. You, you, I have it down. Your recipe might be better. Think so? There's. Right. I appreciate that. It is a a very good chicken recipe. Thank you, sir. I would like However, to go on. I feel like there's a butt coming. No, no, there's no butt. There's <laughs> okay. no butt. No, in all honesty, when you do it, if you add some chicken thighs to it, too, it would help it out. It I do do it with the chicken thighs. Do you? Um, that's how they do it. But it, it's a little, you know, it's a little fattier. The kids really don't enjoy the thighs as much. So, so what you do is you, because I did chicken today. I told you I did a teriyaki chicken in the Instapot, which is, you know, it's not very difficult. Yeah. Season your chicken, throw it in, throw a jug of teriyaki in there, put the lid on, 35 it's minutes. That's nice, huh? Dude, best fucking invention ever. Oh, I did sticky rice in there that comes out really good, unfortunately. Than, I think it's better than a toaster strudel. Is there anything better than a toaster strudel, buddy? <laughs> that jizzle. Right on the top. If you say a pop tart's better than a toaster strudel, I, 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 I have to rethink our uh, friendship. To be honest with you, yeah. Because a toaster strudel is so much. It's it's a far better quality than a pop tart. But a pop tart, I just I feel like um, people are lazy now. They don't even do the drizzle. They can, rather just put the pop tart in and then just eat it, or you can eat it dry, which you can't do to a toaster strudel. No, you can't because they're frozen. Right. I mean, exactly. You, I mean, you can. You can try. <laughs> Just, it, it, you want it, a frozen strudel? No, but I want a regular one. Right? Yeah. Like, hey, <laughs> shout out. <laughs> shout out Mitch Hedberg with the frozen banana. <laughs> Such a good joke. Golly. Rest in peace. What else? <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, I was watching a video of like restaurants that closed down. Just one? Yeah, it was it was restaurants from the eighties that didn't make it. Yeah. Hooters? The, no. Boy. There's they're struggling, but there's still some Hooters I out there. I love Hooters. Their wings are top notch. Say what you want. 
<laughs> I love their Jeff. fucking chicken strips. Yes. <laughs> don't say fuck. Mr. I don't eat bone in. <laughs> I can't eat chicken if it's got a bone in I it. I will go to my grave. Hooters has the best chicken strips I've ever had in my life. And, then and they, I eat like a 12-year-old. I've had every restaurant's chicken strips in southeastern Wisconsin. And let me tell you, Hooters are the best. The my, And Jeff's, once again, he's like a 12-year-old, so spicy don't touch Jeff's tongue. <laughs> it's the mild. It's so good. I've tried to look up the recipe. You can get the hot. You can buy it online. Yeah. You can't get the mild. I would buy the mild sauce and just dip shit in it. I you, can't get it. Everybody come over to Jeff's. He's going to be teabagging a <laughs> I would jar put my of balls my, in it if I had it. Teabagging a jar of mild. I'm not even going to bullshit. Hey, Hooters, send us some uh, mild come sauce. Come on, Hooters. <laughs> Please. But I'll put my balls in it on OnlyFans. <laughs> put it on Facebook. Who gives a shit? No what? One's... I got to make a profit. <laughs> $5, Buster. Daddy's got to pay for this paint. <laughs> I told you I'd pay for the paint for my shoes, sir. Come on now. Yeah, size fucking fourteen. You're gonna use half a gallon. I mean, <laughs> it's like a paint in the house. I, mean, I was just saying, do we need to go to Home Depot and just get the industrial size? <laughs> yeah, Jesus jugs? Christ, bro. How about paint? And I gotta use like six coats. So I I heard something and it it resonated very well. Is Men don't grow old, or men don't grow up. We grow old. We we stay. We're we're simple creatures. We really are. If we like something, 100%. if we like something, we're going to keep doing that until the day we die. You know, there's eighty year old dudes out there that have eaten a bologna sandwich every day because they like it, because they're used to it, because it's easy, fast, simple. Boom. Yeah. That's. The definition of a man, to be honest with you, we we will we'll step outside of our comfort zones, go try some other things. At least I will. Food wise, Jeff won't. I won't. Jeff's about his food wise is about the size of that box is what he'll <laughs> he'll it's eat pizza, chicken strips, and cheeseburgers. You'll, you'll get a steak. Come on now, but but he's not. You're not going to see Jeff going to a ketchup. Sushi. <laughs> you're not going to see Jeff going to a sushi restaurant anytime <laughs> soon. Oh, no, dude. If Jeff's Chinese order is chicken fried rice or shrimp fried rice, and that's it. Yeah. He ain't going to get that General Tao's. <laughs> Blue cheese with wings. Who's General Tao? <laughs> I don't know, but his chicken's delicious. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it's so it's so true. We just, we're simple creatures, simple pleasures. Yeah. It's. We don't complicate shit. I no. Like. It, and if we do, it's not. On purpose. But I have the philosophy, too, when I go out to eat, like, because we don't go out to eat very often, you know, so it's like a, a treat. Yeah, you know, well, when, that's... It's when me and my lady get to go out to eat. But I think that was also just how we were raised, though, too, because I don't go out to the restaurants that much either. But when I do, it's like, it's an event. No. Yeah, but I I don't, I don't want to go out, do all this shit, spend all this money, and then... I didn't like it. Yeah. Like, that's, like, the bummer for me. So, yeah. like, I stick to Garen. You can't fuck up a cheeseburger. You can't really fuck up chicken strips. Yeah. Yeah, that's... and. I mean, obviously, you get fancy, you get a steak. You know, you get a steak. But what, it's hard to fuck up a steak. I've had, it, I've had a steak fucked up. We've been friends for so long that I remember your Taco Bell order because I've... Been through the Taco yeah. Bell drive through so many times at 4 o'clock in the morning like, after hiccuping. DJing. <laughs> it, you know, <laughs> cheesy gordita crunch, no lettuce, no Baja. And then, which it was the Baja sauce before before they changed it to the spicy ranch. They changed it to spice around. It's, it's fucking Baja sauce. I don't spice give a around. fuck what anybody says. Taco Bell, stop changing shit. I don't know what a Baja, what is a Baja sauce? It's spicy ranch. <laughs> What it, what happened was was a guy was just making had a thing of ranch there and knocked. He's like, oh, I put a baja sauce on that. And you're like, all right, we'll try it. See what it is. <laughs> oh, that's just pure asshole that you put on. <laughs> I don't even know. They got the baja blast. So, if a woman 
shaves her cooter but yeah. doesn't shave her butthole is that a mullet um it has to be right Th- there's your question told you we could make up some questions um i don't i don't know a lot of girls that have a lot of butthole hair do you no <laughs> so but, like do they need to shave but, their ass but most of my experiences with a lot of them wax so there ain't nothing down there they wax their buttholes or uh-huh. the front the whole shebang butthole bang. waxing the whole shebang a bang mm. are they still uh didn't they like diet bleaching ain't no bleaching you yeah. bleaching is that still a thing i have no idea <laughs> you haven't tried it as <laughs> there, there's some content you guys want us to you see us get yeah, our buttholes comment down below we'll go this? get our buttholes bleached how blonde do you want to go gwyneth gwyneth <laughs> paltro see kayla's not here so we're just getting weird <laughs> we're just talking That's good. shit Let's, now we're gonna fucking we should tattoo our buttholes only if i can do like the uh top of a pill jar what? Push down a twist. I'll push and twist. <laughs> How dare you? Um, so you're a married man, obviously. When you weren't, yeah. What were your red flags? Like an instant turn off. Um, hairdresser, <laughs> bartender. You're, uh, you're actually naming shit your wife was. Yeah. Was. Oh yeah, she had, she was multiple red flags right off the bat. No, um, but but if you're out, you're talking to a girl in like an instant red flag for you. Um, that's a good question. I don't really know. Um, I will tell you this: I before I started dating my now wife, I was talking to another girl and she would talk about her ex-boyfriend a lot <laughs> yeah that's that's obviously that's a, a red flag. lot oh my god jesus christ One, she's clearly not over this guy yeah you're you're the rebound <laughs> yeah, that's gonna get fucked i'm like yeah. no nah, i'm out of here and that's past trauma that's yeah yeah that's that, from that's, that's from dating a girl who left me for her ex and then i was hanging out with a girl and she wouldn't stop talking about her ex boyfriend. So, I'm like, yeah, no, this ain't gonna work. So, a red I'm having f- flashbacks like fucking nominal. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, choppers are flying. So, uh, a, a red flag for me now is uh, if you still do your makeup like you did in the early 2000s. So, if you still do like white girl cholo, white girl cholo. <laughs> You know what I'm talking like Are there a lot of girls still doing white girl cholo? There's some out there that still do it. Oh, salute to you ladies. But you know what? It's going to come back and they're going to be ahead of the game. But the problem is if they're still doing white girl cholo, I guarantee they cannot form a full sentence without saying the n-word in it. I think they can. Ooh, it's tough. You can see them fight it. They definitely smoke Newports. Yeah. <laughs> Hundred percent right now. Newports, and they have a uh, leg like tattoos, <laughs> obnoxiously long fingernails. <laughs> I like tattoos. There's a red flag for you, buddy. Is is yeah, uh, leg, leg tattoos. Leg, tati- leg yeah, tattoos were always uh, when they, their legs look like a fucking Chipotle bag. <laughs> I'm out. <laughs> yeah, if they have a bunch of stick and poke tattoos. Yeah. yeah. Or if they have a tattoo of their ex's name on them anywhere, I'm out. Yeah, I mean, that's... I don't want to be intimate with a girl and then you're staring at Adam the whole time. Or Steve. Or, you know what I mean? What if it's, like, on her uh, fucking uh, tramp stamp? Yeah, that's... uh, it's it's, What if it says, like, Daddy's Princess? It's hard to maintain maintain an erection when it's a shit like that. Because I go way too deep and be like, what does this mean? Is she talking about her real father? <laughs> or is she talking about her ex that she called daddy? <laughs> or are you her daddy? Or, <sighs> you are my, I'm, 
is my boat. Yeah. <laughs> I am captain now. Yeah, that's I don't call me daddy. I I think that is the dumbest shit. Really? Mm, daddy. Mm. What about Poppy? No. Don't call me. I'm not your father. You want me to be your father? Stop <laughs> pulling your sister's hair. <laughs> I understand you have daddy issues, but I ain't daddy. I'm just the guy that's hitting you from the back and pulling your hair right now, trying not to pull your weave out. <laughs> just calm down with the daddy. Yeah. I'm not, I'm not going to be like, mm, this is great, mommy. Don't work fucking. It doesn't work the same way. No, that's not great. Oh, yeah, mommy, suck my dick. That doesn't work. You sure? It. Mm, yeah, mommy. Mm, no. No. No, you. Our listeners. Yeah, you're welcome. Get that in your fucking brain. <clears throat> Let that marinate for a little bit. Yeah, but like we talked about before, that's the kinks. Some people are into that shit. Yeah, for sure. But I ain't. So please, never. All right. So if you find F- out future that. girl that I date, don't ever call me daddy. Don't do it. Because that's that's an instant fucking. That's it. That's your. That's a bo- That's a boner killer for me. Huh. All right. I'm sorry. It's it's one of those ones. Boner uh, killer. I mean, you're still gonna finish. Yeah. But, <laughs> Hey man, that. I've spaghetti noodled it before. It ain't the first, <laughs> the first time won't be the last. All right, let's get this done so I can get out of here. <laughs> yeah, I gotta, I gotta go. I gotta go. I'm gonna come. Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> Macaroni and cheese, huh? What do you mean? <laughs> you want to make some? Are you hungry? No, I'm good actually. Okay. I. I uh, that's Kayla's red flag. It's the sound of macaroni and cheese. Oh, if you've never seen the video of the ice cream tester. <laughs> That's Kayla's red flag. In all honesty, I'm going to pull it up just to do the audio for us because it's, 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 something bold. it's worth it because it's that funny to me. All right. Should we just... All right, so you got to make sure that you post this. So in this. tasting, what we do is take a small amount right off the top. It doesn't take much. That's the warmest part right here. I'm going to invert the spoon. Mm. Cover all 9,000 taste bud. Aerate it. Warm it up. Driving up <laughs> that top note, that cream, pure vanilla, sweeteners. Mm. That's a 10. <laughs> I'm not going to lie to you, though. I think uh, next time you go down on a lady, you go, that's a 10. She's going to love you for your the rest of your life. Are you going to invert the spoon <laughs> like Maverick? <laughs> invert the spoon. <laughs> Oh, my God. I love that guy. He's a national treasure. <laughs> he needs to be protected at all costs. At all costs. When the shit goes down, you give him a fucking raft for sure. <laughs> <laughs> I love that guy. That's, it's, there's, you know, the deepest, darkest parts of the internet, you find some very odd interviews in that one right there. I, I don't know how we've missed it for so long. It's one of those ones that I yeah. saw. I, I heard it. I was like, okay, that's funny. Then you watch it again. It gets funnier each time you watch it because the guy he's is so serious. And he's, he's so serious. And at the end, he's like, that's a 10. Like he is a master of his craft. Very obviously. much so. Yeah. And I think it was like, I think that was Briar's ice cream or Edie's ice cream. So it's one, you know, it's one of the big. Was it the Vietta? It wasn't Vianetta. V- How dare he? I, oh. I, he might have came in his pants and sold them. After he tasted the Vianetta. I'm not going to lie to you. If they could bring one thing back, bring back the Vianetta, just so Jeff can have it. He I never, need it. Because he's never had it. He never had Vianetta. No. I need it one time in my life. I need that lasagna ice cream. It, please. Please. For the love of God, bring back the lasagna ice cream. Lasagna ice cream. We all want to be Italian. 
Everybody wants to be an Italian. What are we even doing here? Every, everybody wants to do this. Lasagna ice cream. Get the lasagna ice cream out. <laughs> bring back Vianetta. Let's go. I'm starting a hashtag. Bring back Vianetta. It needs to be done. I will. I, we, I mean, everybody pickets for something now. Everybody protests for something now. We're protesting for Vianetta ice cream Let's to go. come back. We got to grow your hair out and dye it blue. I'll probably just dye a, my beard blue. Probably a nose ring or two. Yeah. You need a nose ring. You'd look tough. <laughs> you need like the bull. You need the bull ring. <laughs> what's What's hilarious is I don't own a motorcycle. I don't. I have. I have a jacket I wear every now and then. It's not a leather jacket. It's just like a hoodie, zip up hoodie, with wolf knives on the back. Yeah. Which was a joke scooter gang from the Jason Ellis radio show, and. Uh, I'm at a local dive bar and I'm sitting next to a buddy of ours and his buddy. <laughs> They're both on their bikes and obviously I'm not. So this drunken uh, sauce bag comes up to me and goes, <laughs> I know it's you who has that blue bike outside. I could just tell. I go, oh, can you? <laughs> is, it can because, you is it because I have a beard and I'm wearing this? Am I? It, it, no, I don't. I have that. At the time, I had my envoy. I have the blue envoy across yeah. the street. <laughs> I do not have those motorcycles. What? How dare you? I'm like, talk to these two guys. And the dude that owned the blue motorcycle was legitimately wearing like a John Deere hat and had cowboy boots on. Yeah. I'm like, it, just because I dress this just way, just because I dress this way, does not make me a biker. It's like. But you look, you look like a biker's but I, dream. But I was wearing a biker's uniform. Yeah. No. I, I think Sons of Anarchy is the dumbest fucking show ever made. The ever? I think Sons of Anarchy I think Sons of Anarchy. Don't even glo- say it. Glorified How dare you? Glorified biker games. You know, Kayla's mom's coming after you. I don't care who comes after me. I mean, I'm sure the show yeah. writing was great, but I'm going strictly by premise. It glorified biker gangs and made this subset of people just like, oh, my God, yeah, that's what I want to be in. And, and then there's how many fucking times have we gone out to a bar and someone has a cut on of some who got like, yes, I know the outlaws. I, I have friends that are outlaws. I know, you know, I've seen the Hell's Angels. I've seen all those. But then there's like 65 other fucking biker gangs that no one knows who the fuck you are. It's just you and your three buddies that just happen to have the same thing on your backs. Yeah. The, those. Yeah, I know you're talking about. Those <laughs> jerk off. <laughs> and they're, they're trying to pick fights with people. Like, yeah. dude, just because you're wearing a biker cut doesn't mean I won't beat the fucking brakes off you. Oh, my God. It doesn't matter what you. It doesn't matter what you wear. It doesn't matter that you ride a motorcycle. You're if you're soft, you're fucking soft. Yeah, and those I, dudes were fucking those dudes were ten ply. That's how soft they were. That's why I ride a ground, you know? And Let's Jeff's go. the hardest motherfucker on the planet. Let's go. Just in his pants. Mm-hmm. I've watched him That's it. Lift the car up with his just his wiener. Just pants. Just pants on the ground. He got up about that much. <laughs> <laughs> I love my ground. My brother in law's got a Harley. He secretly loves Grom. He's taking it to the bar all the time. I left the Grom at his house for a summer. The Grom? He fucking rode it everywhere. The Grom is like the scooter. It's pleasurable. It's fun. It's easy. It's quick. It's not fast. <laughs> you don't have to worry about going 90 miles an hour. You don't. It's a enjoyable ride. Harleys are cool. Harleys, okay. they're, they're, they're cool. They're cool. Whatever. They're loud. A Grom is a chicken and sundress. It's fun. Yeah. <laughs> the Harley, you know what you're getting with the Harley. You're not getting the chicken, the sundress. No. You're getting the haggard bitch on the other side getting a that's, really that's got 47 cigarettes in her mouth, and her face, yeah, looks, nah. her Just, face looks as leathered as your jacket you that you're wearing. I ride the Grom. I like a sundress. It's almost sundress season, ladies. It's time. <sighs> Best time of the year. I don't know. Does she have panties on? I hope not. Best time of the year. I don't know what's going on. Best. If you're. It's sundress season. You know what's the best about sundress season? Is when, like, 
it gets caught in their butt crack just a little bit. Drives me fucking just enough. Nuts. Everybody loves the yoga pants. We get it. But the sundress. Sundress is where it's at. Top notch. Never forget, ladies. Never forget. Never forget the I'm sundress. Out. I'm out of, and that is. I got one last drop. That's the best way to end this podcast. The sundress season. Let's go. For Jeff. I'm Sean. Thanks for joining us here again on the Gentleman's Den. Bear fucking down. Bear down. Chicago Bears. Caleb Williams, Roma Dunze. I can't pronounce Kieran's last name, but he is our uh, new left tackle. Tori. Our I don't care if Caleb Williams wears the sundress. Just throw a fucking touchdown. Touchdown. Let's go. Tutters. That's all we want. Tutters and W's. Thanks, folks. We'll see you next week. Peace.